So, <laughs> I hope you can see this. Um, I gave all my other comics away to Joe, but this one <laughs> I kept. And it's one of the 99. And it's my pick of the week because I had so much fun with Dr. Naif Al Mutawa. Um, and the really interesting thing about his background, which never came up in the program, uh, besides being Kuwaiti born and American educated, he has this very deep background as a clinical psychologist in treating torture victims. And let me just read you what it says about this. Um, he worked with former prisoners of war in Kuwait and the survivors of political torture unit of Bellevue Hospital in New York City. And he has seen firsthand the cancer that intolerance can bring to any society. His direct contact with the horrors of people tortured because of their religious and political beliefs led to his writing uh, the story that we talked about, the timeless children's tale that won the UNESCO Prize for Literature. But it's also very evident uh, in the comics, um, Dar the Afflictor, for example, who has trouble dealing with his power to inflict pain and has to learn how to regulate it. I could see um, the background in torture there. But it was so interesting that such an easygoing guy with such a great sense of humor, who said that his formative experience was being the only Arab kid in an old Jewish camp uh, when he was growing up, um, and who produced this really, I'd say it's a cutting edge stuff, you know, the 99 based, uh, the first Arabic, um, the first Islamic superheroes, and the first of its kind to come out of the Middle East, that he has this incredible range as a human being, um, that he is, he has this gentle, sweet, funny nature, and that he knows the dark side. And I, I just think that's, um, that makes for a really interesting man.